Hey, this is Jeff at Governors. <clears throat> I'm gonna have a little bit of uh, Rod Iron 101 here for the next couple days. I'm gonna shoot several videos. We have a tremendous amount of wrought iron, probably as much or more than anyone in the country. We've been salvaging for about 50 years. Richmond's a pretty old city, dating back into the 1600s. And the houses in downtown Richmond, um, down by the water where all the uh, factory workers lived, all of them walked to work. You know, turn of the century, there, was, there were no cars. So unless you had a paddock or a place to store your horses and the money to own one, you walked to work. It was hot, and so unless you wanted to come home to your house with 150 degrees inside, you'd leave your windows open. If you wanted to have any possessions when you came home, you had to have window grates to, to protect your stuff. The difference between window grates and gates is pretty simple, but a lot of people don't know. So window grates all have a tab where they would have pivoted, right? Gates usually have hinges or hinge points, but the grates all have a tab like this. On the other side, most of them had a hasp where when the gate was shut, it had a padlock so you come home and all your stuff would be there. Window grates here at Governor's, we have, I don't know, probably a thousand. This is, we have at least twice as many um, <clears throat> in another area. Uh, it's kind of funky iron. It's pretty inexpensive for what it is. If you only had one door and one window, you could get pretty funky and you know spend something more elaborate, build something more elaborate. If you were to have to put this around a yard, it would break you. So most people that were down in those parts of town um, just couldn't afford it. So, but it's really cool iron. It's really good yard art. Uh, we've built chandeliers out of it, all kinds of different stuff. We have a full welding operation. But window grates, the next one will be about uh, gates themselves and um, Iron 101. Thanks for looking.